Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Melissa. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today I thought I would just play with some shadows. So I've got my blank canvas ready to go. And I did have two shadows specifically picked out that I want to use, but then um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for the rest. So the first two are from AMI Hearts Beauty. And they are, goodness, this blue shade right here. This is cloudy and then I have got this metallic purple shade moon right here and there it is so I got these when I picked up the Halloween collection which is the other shades that are right here I've used all these shadows on my channel and I'll link the video right up here if you want to check that out but AMI Hearts Beauty is a smaller indie brand they just launched another collection that I talked about Probably in a will I buy it, but I'll I'll find the video I talked about it and link it up here too. So here's the two shades I want to use. So we've got a really light blue and this fun um, metallic purple shade, and then I am going to combine it with I think just the Hasina Two palette. So I thought that this would go perfect with the shades that I already have because we've got some purples and blues as well so I think we might just end up doing a purple blue look but who knows um, I'm just kind of playing I haven't done that in a while because I've had so many new things that I have been using that I haven't just played with the things I have although the AMI Hearts Beauty ones are new but I'm just playing with makeup today so I'm going to zoom you guys in and then we're going to get into the look I do have my eyelids primed already I have used the Ulta nude matte primer I love that primer I've got my makeshift color switch pan when I'm doing a really colorful shadow I just want to make sure that my brushes are nice and clean before I go in because I don't want to pull any uh, old colors that I've used into it so I'm going to start out with that cloudy shade and cloudy is going to be my transition shade I think this is a really pretty blue um, and we're going to see how much we can build it up. When I used the other ones, I did have a little bit of issue with the matte shades. The shimmers were absolutely gorgeous. And you can see this is true to their matte shades. There is, let me see if we can see that, a ton of kick up in it. So I'm just blending this with a big fluffy brush. I am actually using a natural hairbrush to pick up more of it this is a morphe 441 that might be why i'm getting a ton of kick up as well let me try a synthetic brush and see what we get okay so i think i'm going to leave it at just that light wash of blue you can almost get a little bit of gray out of it but it is really pretty it is definitely taking a lot to build this color up To where I want it to be but it is somewhat buildable so it looks like with this color just padding padding on first is going to be the way to go all right so then I think in the crease I want to put I guess I only have one blue to choose from from this palette let me get my certified palette Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to use this one in the crease. So this is Grand from the Certified Destiny palette. So that is the shade I'm going to use in the crease. And then I'll use Anika from the Blush Tribe palette for to deepen up a bit. We're not going to have a super deep look, but that's okay. Well, I might use some purple. So that's Anika. So that's what we have so far. Let's just do that and see where, see where we go from there. This is my Alamar fluffy brush. And that's what I'm going to use in the crease today. So I'm going to start with my Grand from the Certified Destiny palette. And I've got it on its side. This is a fluffy, uh, slightly pinched brush. So you can definitely use this on its side to get more deep into the crease. Yeah, I uh, honestly, I don't know that I would recommend that cloudy. It's almost not nothing. 
I mean, there is something there, but it's just not a lot. I mean, it does give a good transition for the blues, but I don't know. And I'm just patting this one in as well so I can get some good pigment out of that. These ones have a ton of kick up as well, but they have a ton of pigment too. You can see. Okay, I'm gonna take this little smaller pointed fluffy brush. So it's between a pencil brush and a fluffy blending brush. And I am gonna take the blue Anika from the Blush Tribe has seen a two palette. And I'm just gonna pack this on the outer V. Give this look a little dimension with the blues. I'm going to turn it over. This is the Balm Blending blending Crease Brush or something like that. It's got a small fluffy brush on the other side, so I'm just going to blend, blend it over. Turn it over and blend the crease and outer V color together. I don't want to blend a lot because I don't want to lose that outer color, but I do want those colors to appear seamless on the eye. I'm thinking I'm going to for sure use Monique from my Blush Tribe palette. It is this light purple here. So I think what I might do is put the purple AMI Hearts Beauty one on most of the lid and then take the Blush Tribe one on the inner corner. I don't know, do I wanna do a cut crease today? I don't think I am gonna do a cut crease today. I'm gonna to see what this shade can do on its own. So I'm going to start out with Moon from the AMI Hearts Beauty. And I'm going to use some fixing spray on this shadow. So I'm not using this one at all. So I'm excited to see what I can get from it. Because the other shimmers from the AMI Hearts Beauty Halloween collection were beautiful. Ooh, yes. So that's got awesome pigment and that purple has got like a little bit of a blue undertone that you can barely see but it's from, you can see that there's some shimmer in there and it looks so good with these blue shades. These are so pigmented, I can probably end up with a bit of a cut crease anyways without even cutting it. They totally cover over the other shadows that I had laid down there. So I think what I'm going to do next, uh, definitely use a fixing spray with that shimmer shade. I'm going to go in, I'm going to finish up using my purples and then I've got to go back in with the blues to uh, just blend everything together because it looks a little bit choppy right now. So I'm going to take that Monique from the Blush Tribe Hasina 2 palette and I do always spray my Blush Tribe shadows as well. That is going to pop into the inner corner. Actually, for the highlighting shade, I think I might pull in my ABH, what is that palette that I have? Aurora Glow, the purple one in there. Oh, those just go so good together. They've got some of the same tones in them. This one's really pigmented too, so it covers up any shadow that's behind it. So we're ending up with quite a bit of a cut crease without even trying. <laughs> Okay, so I've got that on. Now I'm going to go back in. I guess I'm going to go back in with this short blending brush and the Anika shade. And just pop these together so there's some seamlessness here on the outer V. Now I'm going to go in with my finger and the moon color from the AMI Arts Beauty. And tap that right there. And that's going to help me to get a very seamless look along 
the eyelid. All right, now we're gonna go back in with my D Dynast Dynasty Destiny Dynasty palette from Certify and our blue shade Grand right here. What do I want to take this on? I want a pointy small brush. This is the Elf Pointed Eye Pencil Brush. I have only been able to find this on the Elf website, but I really, really like this brush. If I place another order from there, I'll probably pick up another one. Uh, so now I'm just going to go back in with the Dynasty Palette Blue and pop that right in the crease. And then I'll go back in with Cloud to blend this out in the transition area. You know, I'm almost thinking I need a bit of a darker shade right here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, just on my finger, this, uh, I'm going to take Mohan from the Blush Tribe palette. And just on my, you know what, I, actually I'm going to do my pinky. And I'm just going to pop that right where those meet. Yes, I definitely think that looks better. So it just gives a little more seamlessness to there. Okay, I'm going to take the blue shade, Anika, no, this one is, whew, so many palettes. All right, I'm taking the blue shade Grand from the Dynasty palette, and I'm popping that on the lower lash line, just with that same brush that I use, the e.l.f. pointed brush. All right, then I'm going to take this little concealer brush, and I picked up my Aurora Glow Kit, and I'm going to take the purple color Spectra. And that's going to be popped right in my inner corner. I always spray these as well when I'm using them for inner corner highlights because they are a bit crumbly. So I'm just going to pop this right on top here. Oh, so pretty. And then I'm going to take my gel liner in Piggy Bank. This is a ColourPop gel liner. And I'm going to pop this in the waterline. This is like a magenta. Uh, I'm going to do some liner and mascara, and I will show you how that looks, and then I am going to pop on some lashes. Okay, here is the look with mascara and liner. Um, okay, so I have been wearing lashes more on my channel because I'm... What is happening? Because I've become a little bit um, in love with them. But I would wear any of these looks with just mascara as well, so I know a lot of times people get frustrated that YouTubers use looks that you have to wear lashes with. I would always wear my looks with just mascara as well. I just am starting to really like lashes, so that's why I'm wearing them more. But if you don't like them, you don't have to have them to wear any of these looks. I always did these looks and always just wore mascara before. I, I haven't changed the way I'm doing my makeup. I'm just adding lashes to them because I personally am really liking them. So. But I am going to go ahead and put on some lashes and pick out a lipstick and be back with the final look. I went ahead and put on lashes. I'm going to talk about those in a second. But I'm going to use today my Sephora oh, Lip Stories in... What is it in? Somewhere in Spain. I got this with uh, during the VIB sale and I love it. It is a beautiful neutral. This one actually has more of a yellow tone under it, but I'm still wearing it with a cool tone. I look, I don't care. I think it looks good. So I wanted to talk about the lashes that I use today. I have still been using my Ardell Natural Variety Pack that I had. This is what it looks like today I have on the top one, which is the 106. So here they are. And I wanna bring these up because I'm kind of testing them out to see how many times you can use them. I know a common conception with lashes is that, or would it be misconception? A common thought, let's just use that word, is that the more expensive ones last you longer, so it's okay to spend the money on them. Well, this is my fifth time using these. They are still in great condition and they still look good. And I think I got this pack on sale at Ulta for around five dollars so a little over a dollar for this pair 
um, and this is my fifth time using it. So <laughs> I'm going to say that this is probably a better deal, but I'm going to also use these ones multiple times to see how many uses I get out of those. But I bet out of this $5 pack, I'm going to get tw at least 20 uses out of it. Well, I lost my 109, so maybe not out of this pack, and I don't even remember which, which ones those were. The 110s are my favorite. Here, that's these are the 110s. Those are my favorite. I haven't used them from this pack yet, but I'm slowly really starting to like these. I don't know. I just really like them. Those are the 106s. Okay, what do we think of this look? Today we use the Certified Dynasty palette. We use the Hasina 2 from Blush Tribe and those fun little colors from AMI Hearts Beauty. This is one and there's one, Cloud and Moon. Definitely love Moon. I think it's beautiful. Cloud, I'm um the verdict is still out on Cloud. We're not sure about Cloud yet. <laughs> I use the It Cosmetics Superhero Liner. This is creeping up into the number one spot next to the Lorac Front of the Line Pro Liquid Liner. That one was awesome. And I use the Bellamy, Bella Pierre Volumizing Mascara. I got this in a BoxyCharm box. It is definitely not my favorite mascara, but it works fine for coating lashes, coating my lashes when I'm using false lashes. I loved just playing with makeup, not having any expectation of what was coming, and you're going to be seeing more things like this from me coming in 2019 because I am just really excited to play with all the things that I already own, and I know you guys have. I've been getting some requests for color combinations, so I am writing those down. Those will for sure be coming at some point. I would love to know what you guys want to see, whether it's a certain palette that I have or... Um, singles or colorful looks or techniques whatever you guys want to see I want to know those and those will be coming they might not be coming till January because I just had like a whole list of things that I wanted to get done in December and this was one of them so I've got a few more a few more things to film also so you'll see this look a couple times thank you guys so much for joining me for this fun little playing with my makeup I do hope that you guys subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and put your notifications bell on so you get notified when I upload new videos I do upload uh, five to seven times a week and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye